sharpen your weapons and fire up your grills and get ready to party like it's 1990 that's not right anyway next week guys july 21st we have the sizzling spice fest coming to monster hunter world iceborne and in this video guys i want to talk about all the upcoming events and the important things that i think you should be doing to get the most bang for your buck in this upcoming event but before we begin guys please hit that like button if you like this video smash that subscribe button and click the bell so that you can be notified each and every time that i upload a brand new video and with all that being said let's dive right into it here we go we're gonna dive right into this new sizzling spice fest event um, festival that's going to be going on July 21st next week uh, and all the things that you should be doing um, what I did is I compiled a list of all the events and I broke them down into importance not just on a fun level and like things to get you just silly awesome little rewards but also things that are going to help you to get um, armor spheres to level up your armor the events that are going to get you weapons to get you out of story if you're just getting out of story um, events that are going to get you the things that are going to help push you into end game whether you're coming out of story or whether you've already been out of story you are in game but things that you can be doing during this festivity time to you know get the most bang for your buck in a sense and so with that being said let's just go ahead and dive into this really really quickly guys um first off we have the master rank three star seeing is believing so complete this quest to get special materials for making some frothy dual blades i really like this this is definitely going to be one that i do i'm not the biggest dual blade um player that there is but i do appreciate a good meme and this is just pretty cool because you got dual blades or like freaking beer mugs who doesn't like that right and it's just easy like these little small quests like these are just super fun they're chill and they allow you just kind of have a good time with your friends and just get some cool little rewards um master rank one fetching light pearls complete this quest to get special materials for making the lovable kelby layered armor now this one's really cool because like when you're going around you got the kelby helmet on you look like a mythological warrior from another time um and it just looks really really cool um this one uh camo flawed goes hand in hand with that last one because this one you know completing this quest gets you the special materials for making the rugged uh abanoff layered armor and this is pretty cool because again you got like this dinosaur head um layered armor on you so you're going around looking like half man half beast and that's just pretty cool and again guys these are just kind of like chill easy little event quests to do to kind of just have some fun and enjoy yourself with friends um moving forward we have the naked truth uh, which is another new event. So complete this quest to get the special materials for making the lightweight inner wear alpha and beta layer armor. This was just kind of cool, guys. I don't know how difficult or non-difficult this would be. It looks like um, we might be fighting Shara Ishvalda. Maybe. I can't really tell. Um, maybe not even that. Who knows? Anyway, this was just kind of cool because you get to go around in your underwear while actually wearing your, you know, your actual armor. Um, but you get to look like you're in your ordinary clothes and it, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to be doing this because, you know, if you're a collector of layered armors like myself, then you just want to kind of like do all the events and anything that you can do to get all the layered armors. So I'll definitely be doing this. Um, two other special events that we've got that are new to the game is don't forget the earplugs. Complete this quest to get special materials for making the alluring hair band layered armor. So this is the one with the bunny ears. This is going to be really cool. So if I still had a female uh, hunter I would probably be doing this and I may actually switch back to a female I haven't decided um I recently um changed back to a male character just because I like to go back and forth on it because I like certain armors better than others but anyway um yeah so go ahead and do this one guys also we got monkey business this is a regime quest so complete this quest to get special materials for making the luscious golden spring uh macaw layered armor um so these are like those little creatures that you see in the orphans reach up in the hot springs they're kind of just like chilling around they're kind of doing their own thing they're really cute and fluffy um and this one gives you one that kind of like sits on you and it looks like you know a little golden monkey like thing that be going around hunting with i think that one's really cool um so yeah i don't know how i feel because it's a rajang um i i hate fighting rajang he is the one creature in all of uh iceborne or world that i just i just do not like fighting he is not fun he's infuriating honestly most of the time but anyway um going on guys we've got moonlit howl so xenogra has appeared in the coral highlands this quest is great for collecting xenogra materials and then you've got wolf out of hell stingy and xenogra has appeared in the elders recess to collect stingy materials now why i put these two um together guys and why i put them on the list of being important is because like if you're coming out of story if you're not already in end game and you've not done all these other things and this is kind of new to you this is for you this is for the not veteran player but for you the the the, the you know new to monster hunter world and iceborne um, if you're looking for thunder weapons, go for Zenogre. Not only is he a really, really, really fun fight, I love fighting Zenogre and Stygian Zenogre. They are just some of the absolute, you know, in my opinion, fun fights that you can do. Um, but Zenogre has a really 
you know, it's not the best, but it is pretty solid for, you know, Thunder Element uh, weapons. Not to mention both Stygian and regular Zenogre have amazing heavy bow guns. So if, like, you want a chill hunt and you want to be able to deal some massive, massive damage, go ahead and farm both of these and get their heavy bow guns. You will not be disappointed. I am a huge fan of them because I love heavy bow gun. I love doing spread damage. And just seeing those those big damage numbers just pop on the monster is just freaking amazing. But um, not only that, but all of the weapons and even the armor, while the armor may not be the best in the world, they look aesthetically amazing. And so I do suggest that you guys do these. I don't want to rag on it too much because I'm a huge Zenogre fan. And I love all of the designs that they did. They really did this monster justice. So yeah, go ahead and jump on that, guys. Next up, we have Kul Taroth. Now, I put these two together. You have the high rank version over here of Kul Taroth Siege, the Fury of El Dorado. And then you have the master rank Eternal Gold Rush. And why I did this is because if you're planning on fighting a Latrion, if you haven't yet, or you are fighting a Latrion and you're having issues, get yourself some QR weapons, okay? Go ahead and grab charge blade dual blades long swords whatever it is that you know it suits your fancy and you know upgrade those into master rank so uh, there's a lot of cool things that go on with kt one the siege itself the fury of eldorado was a lot of fun i always enjoyed that siege i never got tired of it it was just fun you know whacking away at her golden mantle and then seeing chunks of it just fly off until she eventually you know is revealed into her pure, uh, pure dragon form and then being able to just do massive damage to her horns to see her horns blow off it was like super super satisfying in my opinion but anyway it, there's there's a lot of cool things that are going on here um when you're farming it not only are you getting awesome weapons but you're also getting materials that you can just sell off so if you get like a lot of weapons and a lot of materials off of her and you're like i don't really have any use for this make money off of it it is honestly in my opinion one of the quickest and most um efficient ways to actually gain a lot of money in this game and i was up at one point before iceborne hit i was up to 20 million uh in money um not quite so much now because uh yeah <laughs> i've had to spend quite quite a lot of money uh to upgrade my armor and my weapons and stuff but anyway um definitely go ahead and jump on this guys um get those qr weapons upgrade them and just you know have a blast the cool thing is too like if you've already got the qr weapons let's say you got a plethora of them you can actually hawk materials off um let's just say like you're missing a specific one like myself i was missing the ice charge blade then you could just hawk off the old materials in order to roll the dice at the Elder Melder to get the QR weapons that you may have missed out on. Um, and so I think that's really cool. But again, if you're not trying to hawk them off at the Melder, just go ahead and sell them. Sell what you don't need and just make a lot of money off of it, guys. So, you know, I think that's just pluses all around for anybody. Uh, next up, we have Master Rank 6, the Survivor and Firebreak. These are the um, Horizon Zero Dawn collaboration events. Now, these came out last fall. They were two they were two parts you had first the survivor and then a month later we got the fire break and uh in these events you get to go up against um in the first one you go up against the stygian and the other looks like a double joe i have not done the fire break uh, for whatever reason i can't remember why i just don't think i was that invested in it to want to do it but i just throw this out here because like with the survivor you get the shield weaver full armor set which makes you look like alloy from horizon zero dawn um, and then you get the Adept uh, Storm Slinger Light Bow Gun. Hello, uh, the Light Bow Gun was actually pretty cool. I don't think, I can't remember how good it was, but if you're still, again, if you're coming out of story and you're looking for a Light Bow Gun, um, something to kind of get you up into, you know, the end game, then this Light Bow Gun is not that bad. Just look up a build for it. I don't have a build right off hand for it um, off the top of my head. But there are builds that actually make this kind of worthwhile. So, you know, do, do look into that, guys. Not only that, but you also get the Frost Claw Alpha Palico Armor Set in the Forge Fire. And I was a huge fan of those Palico sets. They look really cool on my little Palico. Um, and then the other event, this one gives you the um, Banuk Alpha Armor Set and Alloys Adept Warbow Weapon. Um, I think I might go back and actually do this just for the giggles of saying that I did it and get the Warbow. And the Watcher Alpha Palico Armor Set and the Feline Watcher Grinder Alpha Palico Set uh, Weapon. I think these are just really cool. They're always a lot of fun. Uh, and I just, you know, again, it's just if you want some early before end game after story weapons that kind of start moving you into end game this is for you this is really not for veterans of the game because you've probably already done this and you've got way better weapons but for those who are just you know getting out of story go ahead and grab these 
Next up, we have We Three Kings and talk about a party foul. I put these together because they kind of work hand in hand for the Alatrion stuff. Reason being is We Three Kings, when you complete this quest, you also get um, large Elder Dragon gems for your equipment upgrades. So if you're not familiar, and you haven't got to a latrion yet when you do farm a latrion um in order to make all of a latrion's weapons you do need a large elder dragon gem and so farm the crap out of this guys go ahead and get all those gems uh, unless you want to spend your celestial prince getting um you know the elder dragon gems that way you could opt that but i'd say you know save them for something more important there's far more other things that you could be doing with those prints than just you know hawking them away for large elder dragon gems so especially when you have this kind of event so go ahead and do that guys so if you're not at a latrion or you're not that prepared and you need to bank on some dragon gems go ahead and do this in preparations for a latrion now talk about a party file this one's going to give you heavy armor spheres and this is really awesome because not only do you get basil geese um materials it also gives you obviously the armor spheres and you need those upgrade any and all of your armors and i really strongly suggest that you maximize your armor's defense to the best of your ability if you cannot augment it um because there's just you need that defense like a lot of the creatures in in game of uh iceborne they hit like a truck they will hit you pretty hard um and it just gives you you know a little bit of quality of life in a sense to um you know upgrade your armor so i strongly suggest this plus you know like when you get a latrion or you get raging brachydeos or you get savage Eva armor again you want to maximize those you want to get the most out of your weapon uh your armor utility so yeah get that get that guys um beef is never a mistake and scores of ore so this is for those you know uh, hunters who like to have a lot of fun i'm a pretty big fan of this because like you got the hammer that looks like a freaking drumstick so if you're into the uh mindset of wanting to beat um up on the monsters with a huge piece of chicken or ham or whatever this is then this is going to be for you now if you're a long sword player and you really want to you know do something hurdy dirty that this is an iconic weapon from a previous installment in the series of monster hunter every miner's best friend returns to monster hunter uh, scene is a uh, long sword so now we get this pickaxe looking long sword so this is pretty cool these are not really hard quests to do they're just really fun to you know get the materials to make these weapons and uh i can tell you how good or how bad they are but they're definitely fun and i would suggest doing them um 50 shades of white this is for you guys again who are just coming out of story and you're like hey i need some new weapons i need some new gear i want to get ready for end game um 50 shades of white pits you up against a berry off and in this one you have to you know obviously down the berry off but you have to do it twice in order to build a guild palace weapon and guild palace weapons while they may not be like meta defining they're actually really cool they're actually pretty strong in their own right especially if you're like going out of story going into end game uh, and they're aesthetically amazing. They are some of the coolest looking weapons I have seen in Iceborne. And I'm a huge fan. Huge, huge fan. Um, I've never played Hunting Horn. But the Hunting Horn for Guild Bells has actually got me wanting to play Hunting Horn. Because it looks that good. Um, also, every Hunter's Dream 3, if you're a Charge Blade fan and you just like to have all the Charge Blades in the world. Then go ahead and get the Black Eagle, a.k.a. what I have deemed the Mighty Eagle, uh, <laughs> if you like Angry Birds and you get that reference. Um, this quest is going to give you the Designer's Winter themed uh, Charge Blade, which this one looks so amazing. Like, if you just do it just to actually get it <laughs> and have some fun with the Charge Blade, it is Thunder Element. It's not the best Thunder Element in the game, but I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with it to make it a little bit stronger and just kind of have some fun. So if you're not looking for max deeps and things like that, then go ahead and uh, get your hands on that one, guys. You will not be disappointed um moving forward we got skyward snipers and we've got a fish to whet your appetite now in this um skyward snipers we do get the dainty downy craig layered armor so again like if you're like myself and you love collecting layered armors this one's for you um a fish to whet your uh whet your appetite so this one gives you fish dual blades and i have not actually done this one yet i will be doing this one uh, absolutely just because i like to collect the the silly weapons um, I have unfortunately missed out on this one before, do not know why, but yeah, if you want to slap the monsters around with some fish, go ahead and get your hands on this one, guys. Um, I am Trickle, I am Sound. Now, this one's pretty important, so again, this is for you who are coming out of story going into endgame. Yangaruga has one of the best leg pieces in the game, um, at least at one point in time. I don't know, um, compared to Raging Bracky or Sapajiva, I'd have to look at their armor sets and compare and see the stats and stuff, but anyway, if you need crit eye, go ahead and get his leg pieces, if you don't get anything else out of this event, get his legs, because, 
if you need crit eye most most things need crit eye and crit eye is a very important skill in this game and so i would strongly suggest you know go ahead and do that or unless you're a huge young garuga fan and you're just like hey i want all the young garuga stuff then that you know that helps too all right so now we're going to take a step back this is going to be for those who missed out on previous events guys um this is going to go into high rank missions um a flash in the pan and wiggle me this these are going to give you actual armor not layered but actual armor pieces for the shadow shades you get in the flash in the pan and then um wiggle me this you get the wiggler helmet so if you're a fan of like just silly cosplay with armors and you just want to do some hurdy dirty things then like these are going to be for you they're super easy especially if you're already in the master ring these are going to be like a cakewalk to complete now uh king's no no fear kind of works in collaboration with the previous one for the wiggler because um you deliver special materials to get the sealed eye batch and you get the wiggler head layered armor so this way you don't have to sacrifice you know stats for um uh aesthetic look you can actually just go for the cosplay version as, as what i like to call it and you can just go around looking like a wiggler half man half wiggler and just have a lot of fun now uh, I put the, all the arch tempered quests in here because they are important. I think for multiple reasons. One is you do get layered armor. So again, if you want to collect layered armors, this is going to be a way to get the other layered armors that you may not have gotten, like the Sakura, the Commission Layered Guild, um, uh, layered armors and things like that. Um, but also, this is to test your mantle. Uh, I I've not really gone back and played the arch tempered a whole whole lot since Master Rank, so I don't know how they hold up against now all these like higher statted weapons and armors that we have now in master rank but these are just cool to say you know what hey i did actually down an arch tempered xeno or i did do arch tempered teo or kushala or zora or Bahazak. and again you get you get their gamma armors which are not really relevant now at this point in time but you also get the layered armors but it's also to test your might guys it's to test your skills against these more high powered leveled um elder dragons and i just think this is a lot of fun to kind of go back and see you know where we were in base world where these guys were like uh the cream of the crop these guys were the the kings of the mountains that you really wanted to beat these guys to get that awesome gamma armor and get their layered armor specials and uh, i think it's just a way to like again test your abilities and have a lot of fun with it um moving forward that we also have this is the big one heralds of destruction's cry i really want people to do this one because i think people forget how bad of a fight our shimper nergagante really was and in my latrion video tips and tricks um i did go over how i can try compared contrast and compared if i can talk um a latrion to arch timber nergagante and the fact that i still hold in my heart and in my mind i think arch timber nergagante is leaps and bounds still more difficult and a pain in the butt fight than a latrion ever dared to be and why a latrion does not need to be nerfed but i digress Please go ahead and try this, guys. Not only do you get the Gamma Armor for Nergagante, which is still it's irrelevant now if you're in Master Rank, but you get the Ryu Layered Armor, and that's pretty cool. Um, when Blue Dust surpasses Red Lust, this one's going to give you the Sakura Layered Armor, and um, you can get tickets. So, like, there are still purposes for getting the um, AT tickets, because you do use those in order to get the um, Master Rank Layered Gamma Armor. So there is also another reason, I almost forgot to touch on that, that you do need their tickets from the Arch Tempered Fights in order to make their Gamma Armor Layered Armor in Master Rank. So those are important. Now, moving forward, guys, we've got the Greatest Jaggers and we got the names Lavisioth. This is for you guys who, um, you may not have gotten all of your, your previous jewels, like your decorations, your decos. Um, the, if you're like me, like in Base World, I had a really hard time getting uh, Maximum Might jewels. Um, as soon as the greatest jaggers actually hit last summer, I was finally able to, in the, the first two days of the event being up, get all three jewels, and then I was set, because it was the only jewels I was actually really truly missing that I needed that even mattered, but this was back when Maximum Might was actually relevant, it's not so relevant anymore, unfortunately, in Iceborne, due to the nerf that, uh, the, the skill got, um, but these are just for you, um, I did forget, unfortunately, I thought I had made the slide for it, but I apparently did not. Um, there is a Master Rank Zen Ogre quest um, of the same nature of these two that will pitch you up against a Zen Ogre to farm Master Rank um, Phase Stones so that you can try and farm for all those Master Rank decorations that you may not have completed for your collection or you like you need, you need that one specific one for a build. Then there is that type of quest that you can do. Um, I will be getting that information and dropping it in the uh, link below or the comments below for you guys. So, you know, be looking forward to that. Um, this, again, this is just for you guys trying to round out your, your decorations, collections. Um, that's really all I have for today, guys. I think those are like some of the most super important 
events that you can do in order to maximize like layered armors to maximize your 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 defense for your your um your armors your weapons to try and just get all the cool things that you can possibly get and to help try to bring some focus so that you do not feel overwhelmed going into the festival if you're new to the game or you're just again if you're coming out of uh, iceborne story or you're going from base world into iceborne this will kind of give you some focus and hopefully this video helped you um if you would guys please drop some comments in the in the comments below let me know what you think if there's anything that i missed or you might say you know what uh and take you this seems more relevant to me or maybe this might be able to help you please let me know guys i always love hearing from you and as always please hit that like button and smash that subscribe button join the intaku family today guys we want you here we need you here and it is an honor to have all of you who are with us already and as always guys please stay strong stay healthy and happy hunting hunters